I just wanted to show you guys the shirt that I am wearing because when I sit down, you're not going to be able to see it. But it says, beware of the dick snapping turtle. And I freaking love it. I went to go eat at this Korean market the other day, and when I finished ordering my food, the bitch behind me kind of like grabbed the receipt with two hands and handed it to me like, hey, and I was like, oh shit, oh shit, where the ninja stars at? Did you just ignore the ambush party because bitch, why the fuck, why the fuck did you just suddenly snap like that? Because she scared the shit out of me, so I grabbed the receipt, signed it, and then I gave it back to her, and I was just like, damn, like damn, I'm a suck because whether you get paid to do that, or it's a cultural thing, or it's a sign of respect, the fact that you gotta bow down to somebody to give them their receipt is like, damn, because when I get my customers to sign anything, I'm like, rip the receipt, slam it on the table, slide it over to you, grab a pen, slam it on the table, slide Slide it over to you. You can sign right here for me. Okay, good. And then I'm done. Because, like, what if a three-year-old came in to order food? Do you still gotta bow down to him? Or, like, what if some racist-ass Hitler bitch came in and was disrespectful as fuck? Do you still gotta bow down to him? Or, like, what if a fucking ex came in and just wanted to fuck with you and he knew you had to bow? So he was like, bow, motherfucker! Yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that. I will quit my job before that happens. If an ex came into my cleaners, I'd be like, okay, you dropped off two pants and a shirt. It's gonna be fine on and a thousand dollars for breaking my heart. You ain't got the money. Okay, you ain't in your clothes. They make you do the dumbest shit at work. Like, the workers are fucking build a bear. Unless they're all fucking pedophiles and they love children, I know they must get fed up with their job. I went to go build a damn bear once. Tell me why I had to go make this motherfucker a birth certificate and do all this random shit before I could cash out. Like, after I stuffed the bear, the bitch was like, okay, now take the bear, rub it on your head so he can be smart, and rub it on your heart so he can be nice and healthy. Look like, are you fucking me? What the fuck is this? Can you not tell I'm a fucking grown-ass man? Probably not because I'm like 5'2", but still, just stuff the bear and let me go, shit. Like, where are you getting these damn rules from? If I rub the bear on my penis, does that mean he gonna like dick and he gonna be gay? Like, they started getting fucking obscure, like, rub the bear on your knee so he can be unique. Bitch, for all you know, rubbing this damn bear on my knee is gonna make him crippled, and then I'm gonna want a refund. Just because you pay somebody and you somebody's motherfucking boss don't mean you can order people around like you somebody's motherfucking mama. Like, I could never have a secretary job. I see those motherfuckers on TV. They boss be like, girl, make me a coffee. Uh, excuse me, bitch. Do I look like a motherfucking Starbucks to you? Well, my resume did I put coffee maker. I work for you, so I'll go buy your ass a coffee and bring it to you. But I sure as hell won't be paying for it either. Okay, girl. These businessmen be making like a million dollars a year. They be paying their secretaries like tree fitty. Bitch, please. I will unleash the dick snap and turn on your ass. Donna. Alright, I love you guys.